our lab really works as a close team and the postdocs and their talents and the insights they bring are really the engine driving the team. And in the big picture, we're all kind of interested in the same thing, which is understanding at the cellular level how the brain is computing certain kinds of dis action decisions and then driving these motor behaviors. We all work together because everyone has slightly different expertise. Each postdoc has their own projects. Katie is our expert electrophysiologist. She has been working on giant fiber recordings for several years now. Ryan, who came from a background in fly genetics, has been working on some behavioral analysis from the PEZ. Jan is another electrophysiologist who came to us from the stick insect world. He's been really bringing some of his experience with uh, motor systems to our analysis of these behavioral circuits. So we're going to do our roundup of what folks have been working on this week. Something we do with the lab every week is we get together for a lunchtime meeting in which we all just share how our projects are going. We were discussing some of Jan's results. He's recording from a pair of descending neurons that when activated trigger a landing response. And Katie is doing a functional connectivity experiment. My electrode is actually coming in and recording from the soma of the giant fiber. This is sort of the culmination of a lot of the work she's done in the lab. She had a recording from the giant fiber looking at its um, membrane potential and she was activating some mechanosensory inputs so that we could ascertain whether there was actually a functional connection there. We're looking here on the outside of the dome. The flies see something like this from the inside. Ryan has really been a driving force behind ramping up the fly pezzes automation. So he increased by an order of magnitude how well that apparatus worked. This machine was built from scratch at Janelia in a close collaboration between members of my lab and the instrument design and fabrication group here which are tremendous engineers. You guys were discussing redesigning, I think, part of the top piece. IDNF is building a new PEZ platform. So this is a new version of our behavioral apparatus that will work as a development platform for us. We know that an approaching predator isn't just a looming object in the fly's retina. It also has wind that it pushes in front of it. It might touch the fly to create a kind of mechanosensory stimulus. We're interested in trying to capture some of those other aspects. So the project will be to add on these different methods of multisensory stimulation. I think it's important for scientists at any level to get to pursue their own interests, their own curiosities, and to really be their own motivator behind their experiments. And what I like about this group is that although everyone has their own ideas and kind of pursues their own interests, we do it in a, a context that is driving towards a common goal. The people that we are looking for are people that are both team players but also have their own keen interests. That's sort of the best intersection of bringing fresh ideas to the lab that we can incorporate, but also being able to take advantage of their colleagues' expertise and work together.